hopefully you can see this okay. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Mark Rankin. I work for an organization called Ocean Networks Canada. I'm a GIS specialist there, and I briefly want to talk to you about how we create digital elevation models for coastal hazard preparedness. So today I'm just going to go over why we create these digital elevation models, uh, what we're using them for, and how we're integrating them with uh, various other departments within our organization. So as you can see from this image on the left, um, I live in a place that's very earthquake prone. So in 1964, Port Alberni had a major earthquake, and you can, can see some of the destruction that took place. Um, currently, also on the picture on the right, you can see impacts of sea level rise. And this is just uh, south of Vancouver, looking towards uh, Seattle, actually, in Puget Sound. So we've created models before. So we did a model for Port Alberni Inlet. So we essentially take uh, seafloor data, data and topo topographic data. So usually bathymetry for seafloor and LIDAR for the land. And we map it out to three meter resolution. And why we do it at three meter resolution is so that we can give it to tsunami modelers and then they can run tsunami models with that. And I'll, I'll go over that with you in a bit later. Um, our recent model that we just finished in 2018, this was using 2.1 terabytes worth of XYZ data. So no imagery, just uh, literally XYZ data. And we had specialists come up from NOAA to help us do this. We had around 30 different organizations within the lower mainland and the United States area contribute data. And we spent around eight days in a workshop QA QCing this with over 20 different attendant, 20 different people at the workshop uh, to create this product. Um, so this is something I'm really proud of in making. This is currently being used across Canada and at the University of Washington to help them with understanding how tsunamis affect Puget Sound and essentially earth, different earthquake scenarios off of the west coast of the United States and Canada. So. Um, Currently, we're also working on a new project for Northern Vancouver Island. So this is an area about the size of Switzerland that we're going to be mapping out at three meter resolution. And these are some of the first images of the seafloor that I've, I haven't shared with anyone before. So you're getting a first look at some of the seafloor that has never been mapped before. So there's islands up here that have never been named. There's communities uh, with a few people living in these remote areas. And we, we were able to mo model this area uh, based off a grant with the Strathcona Regional District. So we're going to be creating some tsunami models for them as well. So just in ending, in ending here, I'm going to show you a quick video of what we use this digital elevation model for. So this is for Port Alberni, that first model I showed you. This is going to show you six hours after an earthquake, after a Cascadia earthquake. So that's just occurring off of the West Coast. So as you watch this video go through, just be aware of the wave height, which is in meters here and you can just see how that goes. So I made the assumption that the first wave was the biggest, but as you can see from this model, there's an in and out factor. So sometimes the wave gets even bigger as time goes on and new areas are affected. So this is really critical information for emergency planners and the military when we're trying to get resources to these remote areas. And yeah, happy to answer any questions if you have any. Thank you.